Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, Wagwan family. Anyway, today we'll be watching Bridgerton, Queen Charlotte of Bridgerton story. I always like mess that up. I can't remember what the name of the show is every single time. Well, we, we, um, okay. Well, we will be watching that today. We're at episode three. I've been taking my little time with this. I haven't been looking online, but I've been seeing people post a lot of good little snippets and I'm interested, I'm intrigued. So I probably am gonna knock out two episodes today and I'll put them out this week, both this week, I think. All right, so let's get into it. Um, just so you know, what happened the last time is we saw Brimsley, is that his name or Rimsley? Brimsley and his lover, darling they were getting it on of course charlotte was still down and out about princey boy or is he kingy boy it's kingy boy but i don't know what's wrong with kingy boy there's something really wrong with him and off everybody keeps telling me beware of the episode four and i'm kind of like why i think something's gonna happen there i'm not gonna like it you guys know i will cry i will ball this place down huh you gotta send somebody to check on me i will cry so be careful, but um, I'm really interested. I can't wait to see this and watch it with you guys. So stay tuned. Couple things. So it's coronation day and the king is getting checked out by a physician. I'm surprised that nobody knows about the king's illness because he seems like he's sick. There's something wrong with him. That was obvious. That was obvious from the jump, but like, there's, there's something really wrong with this man. What is it? Made your hair crooked. Mother said they had to go all the way across the world to find Bridgerton? Is this Violet Bridgerton? She looks so good. I like who they, you know, used to play her. You know, I want to see Violet's story. I want to see what happened between her and Lloyd Bridgerton and why, you know, they got to, you know, how they fell in love and so deep in love to you know, the point they had so many kids. Although people were having a lot of kids back in the day, so. I wanna know everything. If there's a cricket in Bridgerton, I wanna know how the cricket fell in love. Shonda, do me a favor. Write a love story for the dog. It is not Exactly, it Violet. Is. I mean, let's and be mother, real. They are She's gonna say that it's there's a difference between them and the queen. We all know this is the only difference. Y'all know what I'm saying. We all know that's the only difference. I don't know why she's trying to justify it. Violet's mom is a capital B I T C H. Go sit down somewhere with your crooked dress. Or something. Oh, Just mother, a little question. Has he lost Hunter? Why of are not. the Queen's children not married? What is wrong with them? What is wrong with them? What is wrong with George? Do they take after George? Is there a problem? Is it hereditary? Because I don't know. These kids are out here just slinging it low and dipping it wide. When she said something about marrying like a maid person or whatever, whatever, and she was like, can we marry a hunter or some whatever? I'm like, damn, you got excited. You got excited. Is that what you want? You want to go marry, you would say a commoner or something? Go marry him. Give the woman a child. But then again, that child wouldn't be recognized. Well, marry someone. Do what that lady did in that show, Lady Chatterley's Lover. Marry the man. Here's the plan, here's the plan. Marry the man and then sleep with somebody else. Let him get you pregnant and then tell the man it's his kid. In Jamaica, they call that a jacket. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Trick him out. He wouldn't know nothing. Dearest, I will address the topic with her. Good. Whenever I see Lord Danbury, my heart goes <gasps> <laughs> It's just a natural reaction. I just like pull back. Oh, by the way, huh? So Lady Danbury is now in alliance with the Queen. They officially have an alliance. Officially, is this what Charles did the other day in England? Oh yes, it's the coronation. I'm such a nut. Such a nut. <laughs> such a nut. Have you ever seen any time they hold that crown up to put it on someone's head? I think about is it Shrek when Lord Farquaad put the crown on and he went. And <laughs> I am. I keep thinking of that scene whenever I see somebody hold a um, crown.
crown up and putting on someone's head. I was thinking of it too when, when Charles did it, when Charles did it the other day. Brimsley is continuously looking at his boyfriend like, bruh, oh, she dragged her hand. She dragged her hand like, give me this, bitch. Look at him, they just look like, oh, he just did a job. Let's just get this off of me. He's a lying liar who lies. <laughs> I love when people use that line. He's a lying liar who lies. <laughs> when she said to him, don't breathe so loudly. <laughs> Brimsley and the next guy looking at each other like, or oh, people are fighting. Help me stop this. Like, I don't know what to do. Do you know what to do? And they're both like, no, no, no. I don't know what to do. Let's just stand here. But Brimsley is so protective of the queen. And I love that for him. For a second there, I thought the king was going to come here and smack her or something. But then he was pacing and then he slowed down. So I was like, okay, no, he's not gonna do that. Princey boy is growing on me for some reason. It's king, oh, it's a king. It's a king. I totally forgot it's a king. What is happening? This is so me. I like to deny somebody the privilege of like anything with me and then I'll be like, don't leave. <laughs> uh, absolutely my behavior, horrible but worth it. The chemistry is worth it. If you have chemistry with a person, it's worth it. <laughs> On the table. Oh, everybody's eyes, everybody's eyes. <laughs> Broomsley's like, get out, get out, get out of here. He's like, now, oh, now, 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 now. No. from the door you have to move from the door now Shanda Shanda you've been doing well with these scenes you know what Charlotte you know what you're acting like you don't like this but you like this secretly you like this I can see it on you that you like this what are you doing I'm eating protein powder guys The only thing is her dress is gonna get wet, like, take the dress off. Charlotte! Shonda! Their episode three is like Diamond and Sa Daphne, I'm about Diamond, I call him Diamond. Simon and Daphne, their episode on five or something like that, was it that? That was that. One thing I realized with Brimsley's boyfriend, he's loyal as all hell to that kid. He is so loyal. By the way, Lady Danbury is getting a lot of face time with the queen. And also, Charlotte said something that was really funny. What did she say? After all, I'm living now for the happiness or the misery of a nation. I bet that's how some people feel right now in England. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Run, Harry, run! Mmm, <laughs> run, Harry. And to be honest, you know, if Harry was king, yes. Does, they, does Lady Danbury love her husband? Or is all just an act of farce to trick him? Mmm, that's a hard man to look at, Savannah. Ah, oh, hard man. Rub that face. Caress it down. <laughs> Where is Princey Boy going? We know we can't trust him. <laughs> She's dying to see out the window where he's going. So Charlotte is pressing the king right now. And I think she doesn't realize the implications of what she's doing because she really doesn't know what's happening. But that's like us when we really do like somebody. We keep pushing them, pushing them, nagging, nagging. Lady Danbury visited the queen and had a conversation with her and I think it was very heartfelt and I don't understand why 
Well, that's a lie. I do understand why it's not clicking to Charlotte because she's just a woman who is in love with a man right now. You start having intercourse for the first time, you feel oh, your life has changed. And it's all about this guy. And now she's just like, whatever used to happen, I don't even care about it. That's what we're seeing right now. This is how it goes. I just care about him. What is he doing? When is he doing it? Why is he doing it? Where is he going? Um, it's kind of crazy how Brimsy right now is just um, trying to give his hand to his lover. And he's just ripping his hand away like, don't touch me. I'm glad he's putting it back right now because before I was like, come on, he made a mistake. But you got to be careful when you do stuff like that. Because if you, you got to be ready to face the repercussions that will come after. Okay? Ugh. Every time George shuts his mouth and lays down, he's a good man, Savannah. He's a real good man. <laughs> Every time he just shuts his mouth and lays there, I'm like, good man, Savannah. Your head would burst into flames. <laughs> this is the social event of the season. Well done, Lady Danbury. I am so happy for Lady Danbury that she got to have her gathering I am happy that Daphne's mom and dad turned up and I had no idea that, um, it's not Daphne, what's her name, Violet? Violet's mom and dad turned up and Violet's right name is actually Ledger, that's her name. Lord I'm happy about that. I'm happy the king is here. The Your king majesty. is here and he actually brought, he actually came with the queen i like that i like that he beard whatever pain or misery or agony he was in and turned up for her that was so sweet first of all i still stand by my previous point daphne's mom not daphne violet's mom is a bitch like she deserves a you know and i really liked how they showed that contrast when everyone was dancing the king and the queen it's a and a together and then violet's Dad was like, you know, Lady Danbury, can I have this dance? Which is another. Did you guys pick that up? The interracial stuff they were trying to throw in your face? And Lord Danbury seems so happy right now. So happy. So, oi, he's too happy. Oh my gosh, Lady Danbury. You need to get rid of this man. You need to get rid of this man. I can't do this for her. <laughs> Torture. Look at this woman. This man don't take him time. My lord, have you finished? My lord is dead. He died. If he's not really dead, don't don't revive him though. Leave him there and then call people five minutes later. Call people five minutes later. Let him stay. The man had a heart attack. How do you explain this back in the day? The man eyes wide open. She was this. Hold on, hold on. Can can ooh, ooh. can Danbury get married? Run and tell your scholarly maid. The man died. Lady. It is quite simple now. We have a full start today. I'm even having the housemaid press lavender while I was talking. We are done. Oh, we are done. <laughs> 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 this one is so happy. Her husband is dead. I'm so happy for them and I'm so happy because it's like Carl is like I'm with you in this I know you hate this I'm tired of you pimp doing this to you Lady Danbury and Violet's conversation I love it uh, oh I can see how it would be surprising a wife this is commemorating a conversation how we're seeing right now between these two and I like how childish Violet was being in the beginning of the conversation too do not attempt to flatter me by talking about my children it makes me dislike you the Queen asks for honesty and 
Brimsley gave her honesty. He gave her what she was looking for. Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. He gave her what she was asking for and now she's pissed at him. What is wrong with the king? Where is he going? What is he doing? What is wrong with this man? Is he sleepwalking? She's running behind this man. What is that? What's wrong with the king? Is there something? This man is bolting down the pot, the passageway. What is he screaming? Is he schizophrenic? Why is he naked talking to the... Oh my gosh, she's gonna help him. Oh. He's really sick. He's really sick, guys. Wow. And she's in love with him. That's obvious. If we if we thought she wasn't before, she's she's in love with this man. So it's obvious the king is really sick. I'm wondering if he's schizophrenic or what's happening because he just lost his marbles completely. He's drawing on the wall. He's he's running outside in the dirt. He's screaming at Venus. Venus, I love you. I'm like, who is Venus? The man is sick. And Charlotte is like, I don't care. At this point, I'm in love with him. He's sick. I'm going to stick by him. Is that your man? Yup. And I must have beside him. Give me that blanket. Let me cover him up. That's exactly what she just said in that scene. I must stick beside him. She's not moving. She's not wavering for nothing or nobody. Anyway, overall, guys, I think this was an amazing episode. Things that I am excited to see in episodes to come. What's the king's condition? Really and truly. Um, I want to see if they're going to do more flashbacks with Violet Bridgerton. Um, her name was Ledger before, as I said. But I want to see more of her dad. Her dad seems to be a nice guy. The mom is a pompous biosh. But the dad is really nice. I'm excited for Lady Danbury's future now. But I really want to know, is she going to have anybody else in her life? I remember at one point she said something like back in one of the Bridgerton books. I'm not sure if it was book one or two where she was like, you know, she does her thing, but it's like her husband died and she was still really young. What did she do with all that time? I know she didn't squander it because Lady Danbury is a force to be reckoned with and she does have a vast amount of wealth. That means she didn't squander her money or anything like that. And she did properly, you know, spend it. Um, I don't know if they called it investing back that back in that time. I'm not sure. But um, I'm still kind of like, what did she do? Who was she with? Are they going to give us any flashbacks like that going forward? Even though this is not Lady Danbury's story, Danbury's story would have been a good one to do as well. But I think now we have so much of her story in this. Although, nah, we could get we, we could still get a spin-off of Lady Danbury. We could still get a spin-off. Um, there's so much more to tell in regards to her story, so we could do that. Overall, I'm still excited to see more of the show. I think it's amazing. I think what Shonda Rhimes is doing is brilliant. It's genius. The way she builds us up and then just <laughs> plummets us to the ground. We go all the way up thinking, oh my god, this is so good. Princey boy is finally growing up. Anyway, guys, I will be back to review episode four. I, I kind of heard from a lot of people, even you guys in the comment section, who have said that episode four is going to break me. I can't wait to be broken. I live for this. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But I can't wait to um, see it. You know, I was looking at my phone a while ago. I was looking to see, like, I 
text them. I shouldn't be saying this on camera. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will see you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking that like button. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. We are on the road to 100 subscribers. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and I'll see you there. Peace. Bye, guys. Subscribe. <laughs>